will learn very before we go Before we go into answering all these questions about back pain and C-sections, I want you to know something. A C-section or cesarean birth does not cause back pain, meaning there's not a 100% correlate, meaning just because you have a cesarean, it doesn't guarantee you to have lower back pain, okay? So that's part one. Part two is that there are actually many reasons why we, have, we might have back pain after childbirth, vaginal and cesarean. Um, so today, tonight, I'm going to be talking specifically about how back pain can be caused by a tight and stuck scar. All right, so that's the most common reason why uh, I treat lower back pain after a cesarean birth uh, with all of my students and my patients. So that's what we're going to be focusing on while we're talking about this tonight. So here's the other thing to understand. Tight, stuck tar scar tissue. It, it keeps it bent forward, okay? So then your body, when you're standing or sitting, fights to stand up through that scar tissue, but it can't. So it overworks. That can cause scar pain, I mean back pain. And also, because you're trying to compensate to stand up properly and you can't, you start to create what's called aberrant motor patterns. Just a fancy way of saying you start to move wrong. Right? And so that's a habit you have to break. That's why a lot of moms go, I'm physically healed. How come months and years later, I still have back pain? I still have scar pain, ab pain, or whatever kind of pain. It's because how you move is not correct. So let's talk a little bit about moving and scar massage in the next frames. So when cesarean birth moms work with me, they basically learn to be their own therapist. And so massaging deep enough is a concept they start to learn very quickly. Uh, and, and so basically it's like this. I ask them, can you compare your surgical area of your abdominals to a non-surgical area? So the non-surgical area would be, let's say, above the belly button. If you push on your own above your belly button, feel how deep you can push without pain. You know, how springy is that? How well do the tissues move in the circles and up and down and all that? So that's mobility. Then you compare that to your surgical area. So between your belly button and your pubic bone, you'll know very quickly how much less mobility you have. And therefore, it'll answer your question with, am I going deep enough? Maybe you got to go deeper in order for stuff to move the same way as the non-surgical area. So let's say you did that previous technique and the scar really doesn't seem tight compared to the rest of your abs. Yes, you can still get lower back pain from the scar because your brain might not be connected to your deep core muscles just yet after surgery. Think about it. When, you, when you've just had surgery, you're literally trying to shut off all muscles to, to contract if it causes pain, right? So you're avoiding to use any part of your abdominals. And if you've had a cesarean, you know how much pain that can be. So after the pain is gone, unfortunately, your body is still wired to not use those muscles. So you have to consciously connect your brain to those muscles again. So to answer this question, yeah, I, yes, you can still have a moving scar, but if your motor patterns aren't recreated, you're going to still develop lower back pain. And that is precisely why a C-section can cause issues with walking, for sure. Imagine you're walking without using your abs and lifting and going about your day, carrying your baby, doing all the things just regularly around the house. If you're not using your deep core muscles properly, they're not connected, you will absolutely develop lower back pain, some kind of musculoskeletal pain because your movements just aren't controlled. You can't move your arms and legs without your abs. You just can't. So my point is this, you need to retrain your abs. Half of your rehab is doing the scar massage, but the other half has to be doing the correct exercises to connect your brain to your muscles again. So this is very much up to you, and I'll tell you why. 